Hello friends and welcome to the Suburban Stead. So today I want to show you the uh, irrigation system that I got going on. It's not perfect, but it's what I'm doing. Um, so I have this tubing and it is, I just poked a hole in it and so it's shooting out. <clears throat> it's got some advantages and disadvantages. I find out that uh, this way I have less restriction of flow. Um, the disadvantage is that it's a little bit tougher to aim where I want it to go. And so I got to kind of um, check as I go down the line. And so this is the yellow squash, the summer squash, and the zucchini. And this has been going on for about, I don't know, three or four minutes. And I got this shooting out of the IBC water tote. So you can see here, you know, I'm kind of missing it, so... I just kind of mosey on down here. Actually, I don't know if you could see it was shooting out like that. <clears throat> Not looking at the camera. I'm looking at the actual plant. And so, um, my method of watering. All right, this is the summer squash. I'm going to go turn this off. And I still need to water the, the peppers. And so... I only do one line at a time, so I have a, a valve. Got all this at a big box store, I think at Lowe's. And I just, you know, shut it off. Boom, shut off. Right now, it's not running to anything. I am. They go a little crazy with it. Um, poor planning, I guess, but I have a couple of unneeded valves. So now... At this little T, it's where I tie in the garden hose. That leads up to the water harvesting system. Um, there is a little bit of a slope, not much, a couple of feet maybe. Um, it could be a lot better in terms of water pressure. And so I just let that go. And so after it builds pressure and water starts filling the line, It'll start shooting out pretty soon. Let's go over here. And you can see that water shoots out here. Um, we do get more pressure in that. Already watered the tomatoes. Pressure kind of builds at the opposite end first. Okay. And then um, get those little grass weeds. It builds at the opposite end first, and as air gets out of the line, it does a little bit better. And so we can see it's a little bit better down here. But uh, it does have some strong points and some weak points. Um, if I was doing it all over again, turn that off. And so I'm going to open this line up. If I was going to do it all over again, I would not have... Um, actually, I'll show you what I would not have done. Now this one does not have the, I think it's the eighth inch tubes, the little small tubes coming off the main line. This one's the same as the squash. And I uh, let it just water, um, I guess passively, just hoping in. I aim it right. Okay. So now it's starting to, to come on down. I, mean, I haven't really, this first time doing the peppers, and so, I might need to play with it a little bit to get it to do what I want it to do. And so this was from what I did last year. All right, so it looks like I'm missing some of the plants. And uh, so last year I put a spray painted spot on the line where water should be coming out. Yep, it's doing all right there. So I laid the hose down and After I laid the hose down, that's where I, where I dug, right? Um, I mean, it might be worthwhile to do the 1 8 inch lines uh, last season. I didn't do it because I just ran out of time. Anyway, and so, it's got, this one right here is weakling. Not doing too well. See if I can get it pointed in the right direction. Anyway, you can see here, this is pointed entirely on the opposite side. 
So I'm gonna have to make sure that water goes where I want it to, relatively. I'm gonna let it soak. And now it's kind of there. I'm gonna let it soak. I mean, I have 375 gallons in the IBC tote. So it's gonna be in the 90s next couple days, so I'm gonna give it a good deep soak. <clears throat> All right, so you can see I have a lot of waste down here. Now, what I would have done differently, and this was for the ones that had the 1 8 inch little lines coming off so I could aim it, and I showed you that on the tomatoes. I would have done this last. All right, so I just used like, you know, a symmetrical, and see how much the uh, water pressure changes. Let me show you that. Okay, so I open the valve so the whole lines, the whole line is uh, activated. Now if I cut it, right? You got more pressure, makes sense, right? Um, <clears throat> but anyway, with the tomatoes, I would have, uh, I should have rather, I should have put this in after testing the pressure because for the tomatoes, um, right after this, I'm not sure why, but right after this, there was like two plants that just weren't getting the, um, sorry, I'm over here fiddling with it. They weren't getting the, um, pressure that I wanted after the valve. So what I wish I would have done was let the whole line go first and then find the weak spots before I cut into it. I could fix it, but yeah, I'm not going to because I don't want to cut into the line and do more. So it's not perfect. Again, you can see I'm missing the spot here. Um, that could be helped out by using the 1 8 inch water line to, to point it to where I want to go. And there's like little stakes that you can get to hold in these which i think they're like a buck a piece i didn't really like that so it's what inspired me to get the 1 8 inch lines right these are the 1 8 inch lines let's see if i can yeah get it in there but you can get stakes to keep the 1 8 inch lines pointed where you want them to be um they're just really flimsy and at least for what i had available Anyway, guys, that's what I want to show you. Um, that is the watering system that I have. And, uh, you know, it doesn't take much rain to fill this thing up. Yeah, this thing, there's a push on it to test it. It's got a whole lot of water in it. Uh, one thing, one comment I will make about the um, setup that I have, this gator lock, this is the only thing I could find um, to get it to connect to some PVC fittings where I could finally get it to a garden hose adapter because that's what I wanted. Coco. Um, so I got this gator lock, but this gator lock does not provide a perfect seal. However, it's not a big deal in my case because I'm not running out. I'm not running out of water. Or at least uh, the only time that I've ever run out of water, I thought maybe that this was on too strong and like my irrigation setup just like just totally just dumped all my water with very little um, time that it was on. But in reality, I left the main valve open and over the course of a day, day or two, this all leaked out. And so, um, got to make sure to keep this off because the skater lock just doesn't do it. And the threads that are on here were abnormal. There's like two different kinds and um, I was spending too much money trial and error to try to get it done. But anyway, so I'm nine minutes and 30 seconds in. So that is more than enough time to to be done so that's what the garden looks like so far um i'm satisfied with my progress thus far although i'm not satisfied with what i want to do but hey get growing you know what i mean anyway guys if you like this like comment subscribe tell me what you're doing or what you're planning on doing see any mistakes that i'm making 
Um, have you encountered any mistakes in your your garden irrigation plan? So thanks for watching like comment subscribe. Have a nice day. God bless you